Beetlejuice. Yes. I can't say it three times or else. No, you can say it twice though. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. The sequel we've been waiting 36 years for is finally back. The movie's incredible. It's actually like, even if you haven't seen the original one, like you can it's still okay. watch it. Right. It's a good, it's a good Tim Burton classic. Sounds good. Um, and I was lucky enough to sit down with two legends <laughs> from the movie, Catherine O'Hara and General Ortega. Um, and Catherine O'Hara may just well be my new favourite person. I'm sorry, Lorraine, I love you. Look at this. It's okay. Congratulations on the movie. Thank, Thank you. you. So, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, I feel like was everything that the sequel needed to be. What has the response been like for you guys? Was it what you expected? Uh, well, Better. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's been very exciting and very cool seeing people come out and, you know, signing stuff for people who are dressed as Beetlejuice. And yes. you can tell that, it, you know, obviously the film means a lot to, uh, the original means a lot to a lot of people. And, you know, it meant a lot to me. So to join it was very special and then I think to finally there's so much love and it was so silly yeah. and we had such a great time making it that it's nice to see that you know other people are having fun with it too yeah and I, I try not to think of what a response is going to be yeah uh, it's not my job <laughs> yeah it's yeah. for marketing <laughs> and, they're, and they're doing an amazing job yeah uh, but yeah you, you can't you know you sign on to something and you just hope it'll be love I knew it was a really good chance this mm. was going to be a lovely experience again like the first one uh, but that's all you can go on, and the people that you work with, and yeah. the day-to-day -day shooting, and, and it was so lovely. Like, even Tim says, I almost didn't care what would happen to it. I just <laughs> yeah. so loved shooting it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but you that's can... that's what you want to have come across on the screen as well. Yeah, you can tell. I mean, it does help when you get, like, a four-minute standing ovation in Venice. I did try and... Uh, funny like... they time it, though. I, yeah, and I know. They, you know what they do? They kept the I'm sorry, I interrupted you. They keep the lights on. They keep the lights on us, and it was kind of... Super remember, I kept saying, you should we go now? Should we go now? <laughs> Because they have to keep clapping. Well, nobody tells you anything either. No. You just kind of stand there and you... And it's like they're t someone's going, oh, no, we're yeah. almost at four. Yeah. Keep the light and on. Then, and yeah, then it goes down. It'll be embarrassing. And then it goes back up again. Yeah. And then it goes down. I, I tried to reenact thing. it last night at the London premiere, but I, like, my girlfriend got mad and she was like, Ty, this is really awkward. Like, I, Why? Felt like I, I felt like I was clapping for when the oh, plane lands. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> get rid of it. I'm getting all the advice from you this morning. <laughs> Um, so Sorry, the love doctor. I know, I know. So, <laughs> as an OG, what was it like? Like Hugh Grant. <laughs> like Hugh Grant. Like Hugh Grant. Like the, the love doctor. doctor. Yeah. Catherine, as, as an OG, like as a legend with this, how was it like going back to the Beetlejuice set for you? Was it, was it really sort of nostalgic? It was just fresh and lovely. Mm. <laughs> it was. It was, uh, you know, there'd been talk, and then there was talk from the actual people who might be making it. Yeah. <laughs> Tim. And, uh, then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, now we're in London. And just looking around at the faces. <laughs> my first day was a gallery shoot, Delia's yeah, yeah. Oh my God. art gallery shoot with Tim, and that was all we did was laugh all day and come up with stupid things to shoot. Uh, so yeah, right away it felt like the other one and felt like the best kind of job, and Tim was just in the best spirits. Uh, you know, and then we got to be all together, really. Sorry, I can just I just keep saying it's fun, don't I? I can see your fun. face light up when you talk yeah, about it. Like you really enjoyed making this movie, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it really did, been yeah. special. Yeah, it didn't. It, 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 of course, we are the characters we were, or we, you know, you're fresh. <laughs> but we were the characters that we were in the first movie, and now I feel like we existed all these years. Yeah. We haven't, you know, it's not like we're bringing them back and recreating them or something. We've been alive the whole time. Yeah. Delia and all these characters. And Beetlejuice. So I mean, you talk about the first movie there. Like thirty-six years, we've been we've been waiting for the sequel. Were you a fan of the original movie? Of course I was. When I was younger, it terrified me, and I didn't want anything to do with it. But then, <laughs> well, at one point, I was at a friend's house, and I was like, oh, "Man, okay, you got to tough it through." And then I realized that it it. It changed my life, I feel like. It was so inspiring, and I had never seen anything like it before. You know, when you're young, you don't associate names with anything. No. So it's like, I had seen Tim Burton movies. I had been a fan of Tim's work. Um, I knew that they kind of all fit in the world, but for me, it was just... Um, Beetlejuice really does, out of all of his films, to me, stand out, because it's such a specific environment, and, you know, the afterlife, you, you, you with the checkered floors and the crooked yeah. door, you know, everything about it, it was... It's just been such an inspiration to so many things and so influential um, and it really just opened my eyes to um, a different kind of movie and a different kind of um, job and I was a young person who really wanted to be an actor at the time. So uh, I, I loved it. Am I right in saying you used to have nightmares over Michael? Oh, yeah. I was talking about this earlier. Yeah, I don't know. Or shall I say? Yeah. Like, that's not just Michael. Or, just, or maybe Michael. He would swing down a banister and uh, wearing a Superman cape and would offer me grape juice and ask, hey, got any grape? 
This is very specific. But it, but was, it was very in your face. And like, he would go up and I would like scream, cry, I couldn't wake up. And then he would do it again. So it was like just on a loop. It this, was the worst. This part. before seeing the movie that was based on a guy oh, at, yeah, a, at a costume guy party, that I right? Saw at a custo a costume no, but today party. when she told this, Michael said, "No, that was me." Oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah, oh, really? it was just I was dressed as like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, and I was like six or seven, and I yeah. went to a costume party, and it was past my bedtime. I wanted to go to bed, and there was like a drunk Beetlejuice taking tequila shots in the corner with makeup smeared all over his face. And Sounds like a great party. Yeah, yeah it's it a nightmare. Like a great party. Well, I wanted to make sure today that you don't still have those nightmares. And I also wanted to get the approval from you as an OG about what I'm about to show you, okay? Oh. So basically, I was on the show here in the UK called Strictly Come Dancing, okay? It's oh, like, were you really? It's like Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, yeah. Like so, uh, Did you win? It, no, my girlfriend kicked me off the oh. show. It's, it's a tennis. Oh, see, get rid of her. Right? <laughs> and I got to dress up as Beetlejuice uh, and dance to Banana Boat, right? I want you to tell me what you think. On the show? About the oh. question. Because this might put you at ease about your nightmares, okay? Let's go. What do you think? You look great. Yeah? Look at you, though. Yeah. Sorry, I got oh! supposed to be like me. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I'm honored. I'm honored. Incredible. You look much nicer um, and much friendlier. That's good. Um, but you're just as sexy <laughs> as the original. You can yeah, stay. So <laughs> you can absolutely yeah. stay. You yeah, know I know that. who's I going. Got, I kept that costume for that moment. If I got the approval, if you didn't approve that, I would have been this. I would have absolutely been that costume right there. <laughs> No, it's very. Uh, but I want to see the dance. Well, I'll, I'll send you the dance. Oh, please! I'll send you the dance. I want to see the another, dance. That's another day. Like, Were there the actual Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice moves? It was good. It? We did or the salsa. We did the salsa. Did. Oh, that's great. great. Oh, that's great. Day, oh, live the best life. Wow, you must have worked so friggin' hard for that show. I did. I got asked to do it in one of the early seasons. Yeah. In, 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 yeah. And there, did you do it? No, that, that, I got a contract. I mean, I was. It was before the show even aired. I think in in America. Anyway, and uh, yeah, I saw the contract. I was like. Do you know how much work that is? Yeah. Yeah, by the end, I've, and then I've watched it and seen how many numbers, if you, the longer you stay in, how, how hard you work, how many numbers you do. It's I intense. They pay you well. Yeah. Squeaky bum time all the time. Like, you're, like, you're rushing to the Squeaky toilet. Squeaky bum? Yeah, I know. You have no. Heard that. No. There we go. We've got a oh. That was an overshare. Oh, that was an yeah, inside That was very ball. honest, was really and I appreciate ball. it. What was it like working with Winona? Winona is beautiful, wonderful, amazing. One of the loveliest people I've ever met in my entire life. I truly am so charmed by her and I, I feel so lucky and honored to know her and love her and, and uh, just be able to spend time with her this press tour, I, I mean, that's been one of the joys about it. Doing something like Beetlejuice and playing Lydia's daughter, Lydia, who's one of the most iconic characters of all time and, and definitely one of the coolest, I think it was really important to me that I didn't come in doing some sort of bad interpretation yeah. or, you know, I don't want people to look at me and think I was trying to be her because no one, no one can be Winona, she's, mm -hmm. you know, No one can own. be you either. Uh, well. Anyway, <laughs> um, for me, I think I, I just wanted to take similar traits. You know, I made sure that they both were uh, uh, very self-assured and opinionated and, and strong in their beliefs, because I think mm -hmm. that's really important that young women see, especially for a story that's so focused on women, you know, three yeah. generations of women. I think that's really cool and important that Tim did that. Um, but also, I, 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 Lydia loved strange and dark and unusual things, and. Astrid was just kind of pissed at everyone and didn't like the situation she yeah. was in. You know, she was dealing with the trauma, you know, from her dad, from her parents' divorce, lot, her grandpa. You know, yeah. so it's a she's in a very different place emotionally than Lydia was in the first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was special. I mean, you guys brought it to life. You you refreshed it for 2024, which was really good. Did you did you pass on any advice, like obviously from the previous Beetlejuice to now, or was it literally just going into it fresh? Just fresh jump in. We just showed. Yeah. We just everyone showed up. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot Sorry. of, obviously, it's very intimidating coming into a, yeah. a group like this. They're all giants and so good at what they do. She, mm -hmm. You're a legend. Oh, aren't I? So, that? yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> speak of myself. She is, yes. Yeah, she does. Um, she told me to say that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, oh, yeah. But, I pay you. We'll include it. We'll include it. I mean, she, she's so easy to talk to and so easy to hang out with and so easy to work with. And yeah. that's the way everyone was. So, that definitely helped going into all this. And I've got to quickly ask, what was it like doing the synchronized dance scene? Ridiculous. It, yeah. was, it looked great. Yeah, no, we great. worked it out. How many practices? How many, how many times did you have to practice? I don't know. It? Well, in the edit, they made us look much more concise than we actually were because. <laughs> well, we pulled, that was one shot, though. We pulled it off. Yeah. 
Yeah. Was it? Or maybe well, maybe there's a cut. Maybe. Is there a cut in there? There was like maybe three seconds of dance that we actually like agreed to. Sitting and the on rest the, of yeah. it pow, pow, yeah. Pow, yeah. was running around and yeah. jumping and dragging you We were trying to do modern dance. Ankles. We wanted to do modern dance yes. as opposed to musical yeah. dance. Yeah. Yeah, it's more and of like an emotional, per it's performance art really yeah. rather yeah. than, you know, a synchronized number. Yeah. We had great choreographer, Corey. Yeah. He's great, but he was Super like... sweet, but he also just let us... He was us very collaborative. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was very collaborative. Yeah, no, no, he was yeah, game he was for anything. Yeah. And then on the day, he would say, oh, and try this, and we'd go, try that. Yeah. Pull me, pull me by the ankles. <laughs> Maybe that was your idea. I'll pull you by the ankles now. Okay. And then Tim just kept saying, don't worry. We did several takes for the whole song. Yeah. Just dancing, 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 like flipping up in the... I don't know what we were doing. Running around. And then uh, Tim would just say... You're doing dancing. Uh, we'll do another one. Don't worry. Like, I'm just going to use little bits of it. Little tiny yeah. bits of it. Okay. Right. I wonder if he was actually trying to reel us in. I guess By so. saying that because there's but so it much. But it was true. Actually, <laughs> could you imagine if we, uh, watching back all that footage that we no, saw? Yeah, that would be hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see so the uncut version. Tim's done a great job. I'd love, yeah, Tim's done a great job. job at making that look. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, Somewhat it. presentable. It's been amazing chatting to you this morning. Um, the last thing I'm going to say is like, how I'm, I'm not going to give away any spoilers. How the film ends, it leaves it quite up in the air. Could there be another one? I don't think so. No? Tim, Tim says, do the math. Okay. This do took the math. 36 years. 36 years. How old will anyone be? Yeah, we've got, we got a little I think while Jenna could be in it. Um, the first one was called Beetlejuice. This one was called Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. What would the what would the third one be called? Uh, we can't say that exactly. on camera. Exactly. No, no. no. You thought we were. No, well, no I'm one will say it. In this, in this hotel. Very no few way. people say it. No, I'm not saying it. No. Never well in my done. lifetime. No. Ladies, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I've never been ill Honestly, we could chat all day. The full interview is actually on our YouTube channel, Lorraine. It's um, great. And the film Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, it's out on Friday. It's so good. I it's think so it looks amazing. And you've taught Catherine a new seeing about squeaky bum time and she'll, squeaky bum she'll time. use that. that uh, will she? I don't yes. know. She was traumatised. Don't think she won't. And Tim Burton's been honoured, hasn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. the 2,788th person to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of oh. Fame. Um, it happened. It, it, I mean, he's finally got his props. He's an incredible director. Yeah. And once you see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice on Friday, you'll understand why he's got that star. Exactly. I, I just think it's a great idea. Normally, I'm not so keen on sequels, yeah. but this time, oh, it, it, absolutely. It hits the spot. It hits the spot. Thank you. That's Thank great. You. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs>